tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use mosaic masks and to create mosaics in Painter. Now, just got this image here. Of course, it could be any image. It doesn't have to be this. It can be type. It can be gradients. It can be a whole load of different designs. But first thing to do is just quickly go over to File and Clone. Once you've actually done that, make certain you go over here to the color and make certain this is actually set to the just there, I'll just clone color it says. So it's actually set now. So that's clone color. Right, once you've actually done that, I'm going to be working on this document. So just quickly go to effects, is direct and make mosaic and tessellation. Right. Now once you've actually done that, so you Got this lovely panel. Now this panel's got a lot of great features, remove tiles, apply tiles, and I'm just going to really go through this one, the apply tiles and the render to mask. But I'm just going to go apply tiles and also I'm going to set use tracing paper because I can't see what I'm working on. It's just white. white. There. Now what you can do, you can then vary, obviously you can go like greater temp than I am. I'm just going to apply it very, very, very loosely. I'm just going to quickly go around there. I could go around the shape of the body. And then, but you can change the width so you can go down there, say that maybe certain areas you want to be thin and some areas you want to be thicker. It's up to you. you can apply at different angles, so I can apply it that way or I can go down ways. Depends what you want to achieve with your tiles. Now, just going to quickly, do, and then I'm going to go for a slightly wider because I want to add a lot more like around the edge. I'm just going to make it sort of burst now like a like so it's bursting out was from that central character. Okay, and I say we can make it obviously far more but at this point it's actually not particularly but you can see it's obviously mosaic in terms of this. I mean it's uh, but you can't really particularly use it until you've actually done the next stage, which is the key thing. And just do the top bit. Don't have to do it, but I so I could fill the hole on him. I'm not going to do that. Just go to render mask, render to mask. Then click there, render to mask. It has done it. Didn't look like it's done anything, but it has actually clicked it. Now click OK. Now what you can do then, you can go to effects. So just quickly go to effects. And it's going to surface it, apply surface texture. And then you can straight away, you can see that if you go obviously paper all the way down there, mosaic mask has totally turned up. So you can actually change that, just tweak that. And you can go that way, that way, go too far. Or we can add different colors, multiple colors, add more shine, softness, tweak it till you're happy on that. Now, once you've actually done that, Click OK. You can also, of course, go to Select and Load Selection. There's other ones as well. And Mosaic Mask there. So select it. So I can actually select it. And then I can paste it back in the other document. Now, don't have to do that. I can actually, at this point, I can go to here and get rid of the tracing paper. And you've got the design there. So you can actually see the design. But I want it back on the original one. So I'm just going to go back and copy it back. And there it is. So now, I can move it, so layer adjuster, just drag that around, I can put it up there. And like I said, I could have gone all the way through the whole design, you could see, but you've got the design there. And of course then, you can flatten it, you can of course apply other effects, maybe shadows, much more, as well as brush strokes. Of course you can then, flatten, like I say, and use brushes, brush tools to add and blur and smudge or whatever with the mosaic. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.